like first we need to tell our students like who they are, what they yeah. need to eat, and what kind of life they would have in their life, and what kind of content they need to have included in their life, and what should be the direction. We don't need to really force them, and we don't need to request them, and like to force them like to do what we love to do. And you know, there's a big unfortunate with the students. They are, whatever they're doing in their life, whatever they're doing in their classroom at school, or like in their teenage when they are at school, they are going to please us, right? To please. They are pleasing their parents. I mentioned the concept of fear. They yeah. are doing this out of fear. This is a response. This is the opposite of that fear, mm -hmm. right? So they are pleasing the parents. They are pleasing the managements. They are pleasing their peers. They are pleasing their family, their uh, intimate people around them. So true. They, they just want to become more popular. They want to earn more respect by getting good grades, by getting good marks. Because we have created an environment here, like you're going to be respected if you're going to be getting good grades and good points, good average points in your class. So we are not really thinking and they are not ready to reflect about their life. When I ask students like in private meetings, in the corner meetings, on the coffee or in the tea, they tell me what they really, really love to do actually in their life. Someone wants to become a singer, someone wants to become, uh, you know, they want to become a public speaker, they want to become a great scientist. And, they are supposed to learn a lot of things what they are not supposed so to, right? 